we're going to be palpating the muscle soleus. Soleus is in this posterior compartment of the leg underneath the two heads of gastrox. So for that, I'm going to need to soften up gastrocnemius. So the way that I like to do that is to lift it up. I'm going to be placing my knee underneath, like I've done in the gastroc videos, and that kind of softens up the gastroc heads on top. So we're going to go through the origins of soleus. It has two distinct kind of origins. One is on the fibula. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to find the head of the fibula. I'm going to ask, really ask him to just lift his leg up and put a little pressure. Perfect. So this is the biceps femoris tendon, and that's going into the upper or apex of this fibula. And then just below that is more the full head of it. So you're going to watch me push onto the posterior aspect and he's going to relax. And now as he does plantar flexion, he's going to push his toes towards the ceiling and then go back down. Watch what happens to my fingers on that fibula. So as soon as he does that and relax and now push up again, good. I'm easily feeling soleus push my fingers off that proximal fibula. So we're going to repeat that as we travel down the proximal shaft of the fibula. And this is soleus underneath pushing me over, which is really good. You can e easily see his gastroc head above, but gastroc doesn't actually attach to the fibula or the tibia for that matter. So this is soleus. The second attachment to soleus is known as the soleal line of the tibia. So one way to kind of identify where that is, is because there is no soleus in this quadrant of the tibia, as you sink in, it's quite squishy, but then as you work your way lateral, it's gonna get into much denser tissue, and the soleal line is running from the head of the fibula on an inferior medial oblique angle, and that's how you would basically trace the soleal line, but then I'm gonna hook through gastroc into the denser muscle tissue below it, I'm trying to fire off this muscle name is soleus. So I'm gonna hook and he's gonna plantar flex and push his toes up towards the ceiling. Good, and I'm getting lifted up and back down. Let's do that again. So again, because we've kind of softened up gastrox as we're doing this, you're feeling more of a pull from the deeper musculature, the next layer being soleus. So underneath on both sides, I'm gonna get him to bend a little bit further this time. And then he's going to plantar flex on his own. So you can see right in here, and just hold that contraction for me, this is a softer gas rock, but underneath is a very ropey, dense soleus. So I'm gonna give him a little resistance just to make that fire even more. This is a postural muscle. We use it to help us stand, so we often have a lot of tension built into soleus. So we can follow underneath that Achilles tendon, soleus, making its way down. And approximately in this area, you can relax, I'm noticing a change less kind of squishy muscle tissue and more just dense tendon. So now this is complete Achilles tendon and just like gastrox, we're going to follow that right into the calcaneal tuberosity right here on the calcaneus. Soleus is only crossing this ankle complex, so the only action that it does is going to be plantar flexion at the ankle. That's going to conclude our palpation of the muscle soleus.